Hey everybody, this is Carlos Pinero, the Ride Sharing Tech. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate a device I've created, um, mostly for um, it's for the um, shared economy, for people that rent their cars out, especially for a service called uh, Relay Rides. There will be more information down in the description below, and uh, discount codes and stuff. And Relay Rides, it's it's uh, imagine an Uber, but instead you can rent a car that somebody owns and they list it and they do background checks and it's growing in popularity the thing is there's no way of really tracking the car if there's a problem and a lot of tracking services are actually very expensive so I created a device that's no membership into some sort of uh, online service that requires data that can cost like 30 to 40 dollars kind of like in dealerships but let's get going. Let me show you how it works. Um, we'll turn on the app. It actually doesn't even have an app. You um, you text it. Now here's my text messaging uh, program that my, my phone has. And I have here Relay Finder. That's the device and the tag, but I have it X'd out. And what I type is uh, locate. And that's pretty much all I have to do since the uh, system already recognizes my phone number. I'll explain more about the device uh, closer to the end of the video to show you how I made it, what it does, how it works, and the advantages of it above all other services and devices. But we should be receiving a, a signal real soon, or at least a, there we go. Okay, what it states here, I don't know if you can see it clearly. Uh, command received. Uh, command received, GPS activated, allow time to fix. All right, what happens is because I had, it's normally on like power save mode, the GPS isn't always running on it. The device is a little bit smaller than half the size of a uh, cigarette box. And um, we just have to wait till it gets a pretty good signal and uh, once it does that we should get a, um, a oh there we go a GPS coordinates <clears throat> so here it's telling me the latitude longitude uh, the speed it's going and the location and it also automatically creates a uh, a Google link so we have the link we hit it you don't need an app for it and here you'll see the location of the vehicle and so let's see where we are let's let the uh, GPS adjust to get a 3d view and this is where we want to go so let's go find that car and that shows us the quickest path so of course I already know the area on South so the GPS will just kick in Paris. and it'll take us exactly where the vehicle is. Now, what's neat about Relay Rides is if you have a spare car or if it's a vacation car, you can put it in the system, they do the background checks and just like Uber, Lyft, car to go all the shared economy vehicles. But this system, unlike car dealership units, you don't have to pay a huge monthly fee it doesn't require data and we're gonna have all that information on it and as soon as uh, at the end of the video so right let's show the street let's see okay in 200 feet your destination will be on the left seeing. your destination is on the left picture showed behind the building and there it is okay. 
All right, I forgot I needed to get the key, but as you see, we found the car. It's parked where I kind of would have expected it. And um, I'm gonna explain to you where, where the unit is plugged in and how it works and how you can save some money with it. So pretty much, let's open the car. Don't mind the mess. Now here's the door. And pretty much to make it easy, what I did was I inserted, I'm sorry, I inserted the unit right here because it's just, it was much easier to pop this off. I wish I would have recorded doing it, but reason I did it here is because it's by the door. There isn't a lot of aluminum. GPS signals and mobile signals go really good through the plastic, but because of this, your door lock function always has power even if the car is on or off so we've got a cable going here to the lock motor and it's actually powering from the lock fuse so also another advantage is like I'm still trying to work it but we can put like a a number here or a barcode or a special code and the person who rents the car will show up and just to verify that they're there you can tell them hey read me the code and if they read the right number you'll know oh okay they're standing in front of the car let me tell you why let me show you this cool trick here are the keys I'm gonna lock the door all right He's inside, forced lock. Okay, I want you to try and notice this little silver thing here. That's the lock, okay? And what I was saying is we can put like a sticker over here with like a special number or whatever other idea you want. So when the renter actually shows up to your car, you can ask him, hey, what's the number here and if it's correct? You can do this function, which, uh, let's focus on the lock. And, but let me show you how neat what you can do. Let's go into the messenger here. It's just the texting. I already put my relay finder and the tag. So in case you have multiple cars. But all I have to do is text a one because it already knows my mobile's number in its memory. Which I'll explain all that at the end. So... Let's send the signal, and now just look at that lock. Let me see, oh, command's been received, and the lock should open. There you go. So you can actually open the lock. The unit can do more functions, but I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. So with that, we can get right in. Don't mind the mess. And I can get my key. Now, of course, if you're going to be renting it randomly like that, um, you're going to want um, to leave a spare key inside. So I know it's in the center console, kind of like Hard to Go does. But let me show you a really cool feature. It's a safety feature. Let's pop the hood. Go check it out. All right, this is the engine compartment. Now, like I had said earlier, I had actually hooked up the unit onto the door locks. So I already have that preset to the door lock fuse. Now let me see how I can set this up for you. All right, let's see, do you see my phone here? Oh boy, maybe I'm gonna have to hold it. Okay, I'm gonna pull the fuse out of the locks. And now, 
you just give it a minute and don't make me look bad poof we get our warning let's see what we got here all right the vehicle power has been disabled warning the finder battery has 32 hours reserved and that is the location that way we can actually find it now this um, the unit actually has a little battery on it which is required because it's actually a cellular phone uh, a micro size cellular phone which has to have a battery so what I did was I programmed uh, a code in it that when it loses its power it will automatically activate the GPS read the location no matter what's happening or what's doing and it's going to send you a signal without you having to cue it now the battery does run out so it's 32 hours so the battery runs out all it's telling you is if the battery's been removed maybe the car's being stolen or something but after 32 hours the unit is going to be totally out of power of course unless someone gives it power again but I don't have a program to tell you, oh, the power's back, because we don't want to cue it too much, but it's still a prototype. But that's how that one works. So pulling that fuse out makes the unit think that it, the car completely lost battery, where it didn't, but it's just for this purpose. All right, let me explain how the device works. It's actually, um, it's actually controlled through an Arduino microcontroller. This is one of those. If you know what that is, good. If you don't, well, it's a nice thing to look into if you're into gadgets. And this thing is um, waiting for the text message and knows how to process it. It also has a built-in flash in it. And that's how, through the text, we can program certain mobile numbers into the device. So if it recognizes it, you can just put a 1 or locate and it'll work if it's a different mobile phone um, sending those commands it's going to ask for a password which you would also set to uh, I didn't show it in the demo because the coding's not done this is the regular generic size of an Arduino the one I'm using instead is about this big it's a little smaller than this but we don't need a lot of commands but the true magic uh, actually happens with this device by a company in New York they build them here in the US called Adafruit and this is actually a miniature cellular phone the bare minimums and because it's a phone it needs a battery and this is how the battery backup works it has the charging unit and uh, it has the regulators to drop the 12 volt down to what it uses this one in particular does not have the GPS built in. The one I have in the car does, and it's just slightly bigger. And um, here you put your SIM card. Now the advantage of the device I did was it's not expensive. It's not $300, and you don't have to have a contract and pay $30 a month. Now, with this device, it's fantastic for like relay rides. This is where Relay Rides is. I live in the South Florida area. And these here are actually cars that people have up for rent. And this is their set price. Audis, Infinities. If you have a spare car or a car you don't use a lot and you want to make some money, use my code in the bottom. You'll get $25 off to rent one of these off of the price. They even have much lower than that, Civics. And, um, or you can list your car and make money right away everybody on the system 399 for a convertible Corvette um, everyone in the system of course goes through a background check and your car is insured up to a million dollars from theft and damage it's just like Uber and Lyft where they all have their insurance this does too but there's really no tracking system so that's where I got the idea of creating a really really chig cheap small device that you would keep in the car and um, for privacy purposes you just text it when you want to and um, 
you will get your um, the location sent to your phone and you can find it that's just for precaution but it also has the um, the one channel that I use for myself to unlock the car now here's the part that people don't know in the United States T-Mobile is the one that will work the best for you because they've got the 2G service but check this out three dollars a month three dollars a month it would cost you you own it it's on your account three dollars a month no contract so let's say you just don't want to use it anymore as long as you know your sim you can deactivate it or reactivate it you own it um, there's no map tracing there's none of those you, there are companies that have sophisticated trackers for that but like relay rides is one of those services maybe you'll rent the car five times a month if you're lucky it's just for precaution you can think of other uses for it uh, once it's complete but the one I have inside the car installed it's about a, with the computer in there which is a smaller version of this Arduino you're looking at about the little bit smaller than this right here about that big and I had installed it in the door just to be close to the door lock uh, mechanism as you saw in the video but I, uh, once I have it done I'll demonstrate the complete project but if any questions you have write, um, write them down below or you can message me through YouTube I'll answer all the questions I can uh, also below I have uh, codes for Uber Lyft if you want to drive or if you want to get a uh, a free ride with them if you've never used them relay rides will be there square if you've never heard of square to accept credit cards with your smartphone it's a good service to have too if you're uh, uh, independent there's a lot of stuff that I offer and also I get little kickbacks from it but at the end three dollars a month from T-Mobile which is GSM so it works worldwide You'll be able to track your vehicle easily using text message. So there's no worry about data services or old Rome or work in Canada or work in Mexico. And if they pull your battery out to steal the car, it'll tell you how long the battery will last, has a good amount of hours, and it automatically just sends it to your phone without you asking. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, more details will be down in the description. Any question you have, please write in the comments and share this out if you like. And uh, any suggestion for other videos that have to do with the shared economy, uh, ride sharing sector, um, please message me and I'll do my best to answer them and to create them. Have a great day.